Good morning, friends and family in Jesus. Again, this morning, I'm going to ask you the question, um, how many of your thoughts have you been able to capture and take captive uh, in the first part of the week that the Lord has given us? I truly hope and pray that you have been successful in this as this is one of the most difficult um, parts of serving the Lord is uh, taking our thoughts and our minds captive. It's difficult, family, because there's so many things around us. There's so many things about our past and there's so many things about what we are facing right now that gives us that justification why we are allowed to let our thoughts uh, move around all over the place. And so just for a bit more motivation, a bit more encouragement this morning, if you want to follow in the Word of God, we're going to be reading out of the book of Colossians, Colossians chapter 3. We are going to be reading verse 1 and verse 2 there. Listen again how the Bible describes how our minds must be. So it starts off in verse 1 and it says, Since then you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on things above. So Jesus taught the disciples that all through his life on, on earth that he was walking with them. He taught them that the kingdom of God has come near to you. The kingdom of God is with you. The kingdom of God is in you. He was talking about himself there as being the kingdom of God that has now um, manifested himself to the humans. So, again, it starts off by saying, since then, you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on things above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Then verse 2. This verse 2 is a command. Or a challenge. So verse 2 starts off and it says, Set your mind on things above, not on earthly things. So listen what the Lord says here to us, family. You know when you set something, you put it in a specific place, never to move again. When you plant a... Um, a corner post on your farm or, or on your yard for a fence, you set that corner post in cement, in concrete. You set it. And so this is what the Lord is saying to us here. He's saying, set your mind on things above, not on earthly things. So Jesus, after we have taken our thoughts captive, and made it obedient to Christ. Jesus now wants us to take our minds and set it, plant it on the rock of Jesus Christ. Plant it, set it on the rock of salvation. So that it won't move, it won't shift around, it won't go um, uh, wherever the, the news of the world goes. And so family, this is a powerful, powerful scripture this morning. A scripture that teaches us that we've been we we've risen with Christ. We've been made alive with Christ. And if we are alive with Christ, Jesus never followed the news of the world. Jesus never spoke the negativity the world spoke. Jesus, his mind was set on the things of the Father. His mind was set on the things of his kingdom. And here he is teaching us exactly the same thing. Set your minds on things above, not on these earthly things. And so family, as we carry on the rest of this week, as we truly seek the Lord in this truth, this truth that we have to, this is the one thing of our body at this stage in our walk with the Lord that we truly have to submit to Jesus Christ. 
We have to set our minds on the rock of salvation. If we don't, family, um, slowly but surely, we are going to be driven insane through the things that are entering into our lives and into our minds every single day. And that is the one tactic of the enemy, is to get us to believe the lies, to get us to believe or, or at least to start thinking that there are some things in the Bible that can't be true. To get us to, to ponder on thoughts about the Word of God is, is in error. And so family in Jesus, it is crucial for our survival as disciples that we take our thoughts captive and make it obedient to Jesus Christ, that we set our minds on heavenly things, that we set our minds on Jesus Christ and on the Father, and that it stays there, that it does not move. Come what may, it doesn't matter who says what, it doesn't matter what this world's news gives us tomorrow, to, to stay there. You know, family, the, the, the sad thing is, is that, you know, this is the third message this week on taking our thoughts captive and, and, and speaking positive, staying away from negativity. But yet still I get texts from church members that are completely outside of the truth of the word of God that are, are negative, that are geared towards fear, please, family in Jesus, I, I want to I wanna encourage you and motivate you this morning. And I want to ask you in the name of Jesus, please let us stop spreading the, the negativity of this world. Let us stop spreading non-biblical truth to one another. It's not doing any of us any good. So let us go further in this week. Let us set our minds on the things of the kingdom, on the things of the word. Let us meditate on the word day and night. Let us be careful to do what it says, so that together as the body of Christ, we may be prosperous and successful. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this new day and this gift of life that you have given us. Thank you that we are still awake and alert and alive, that we are still have been given the opportunity to fix things in our lives. Lord, to set our minds on the things of your kingdom, to take our thoughts captive and make it obedient to Jesus. Please, we pray, Father God, this is, this is a, a difficult challenge, Lord. It is one that we are all, um, we are working hard at it, Lord Jesus. Maybe a lot of us are not, not succeeding and, and we are battling, but we pray that the Holy Spirit will continue to guide us, lead us and teach us so that we may be, be, be successful at the end of this week in doing what your word teaches us. We thank you for this, Father God. Pray and we ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. Thank you, brother and sister in Jesus. Um, I, I hope and I pray in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit and the truth of the Word of God, that in this day you will be successful in doing just this, in setting your mind on things of the kingdom, on things of Jesus. And stay away from all this negative talk family stay away from it it's not doing you good it's not doing me good it's not doing the kingdom good we must keep the kingdom clean clean thoughts positive thoughts jesus thoughts um only that that the holy spirit gives us so i want to challenge you i want you to challenge yourself stand up family you are stronger than what you think you are you are stronger than what people tell you are let us get away from this. Let us move towards what Jesus has for us. 
So until we meet again tomorrow, blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.